They are authoritarians. They said, we can't have Americans having alternative information. Now, is that liberal? No, it's authoritarian. And some of the best people in this country are liberals who really mean well. Just like some of the best people in this country are conservatives who mean well, and you're led by two evil parties. It's time to support the Bill of Rights, not a party name. Let's go to the first five minutes of the report, because it's some of the most incendiary rhetoric ever out of the White House run MSNBC. Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. The standoff between Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy and the federal government is not over yet. Bundy still refuses to pay the million dollars. You ran everybody out of business with those fees. The federal government. And now, after an aborted attempt by the Bureau federal of Federal judge Management ruled it was designed to bankrupt cattle, everyone. Bundy tells conspiracy theorist and radio host Alex Jones. Anyone that, that questions them for a civil is war, a conspiracy theorist. Is, quote, not in a negotiating mood. We're not going to negotiate with big government. We're not going to negotiate with BLM. We're only going to back up and strengthen our county sheriff and hope he does his job. Keep in mind, the county sheriff's job, according to Clive and Bundy, involves disarming federal agents. Yeah, they never let feds On in Friday, before, 20 years ago. An interview with Nevada State Assemblywoman Michelle Fiore, who was attending a celebratory barbecue near the Bundy Ranch, and who came on this show to express her solidarity with the Clive and B Bundy family and his armed supporters. Do you recognize the authority of the federal government? Oh, I recognize the authority that uh, they believe that they have. I just question it. Don't I come here with guns and expect I, the American what? people not to fire back. Well, it might su not surprise you to hear that, that kind pause. of talk from an event. It's not fair. We come and taser people and point guns and say we're going to kill them and beat people up and put them in free speech pens for no reason and act like goons in North Korea. And they're saying they might stand up against us. That's not right. We're supposed to be able to do like we did in Russia and just walk around kicking everybody's brains out while they sit in the fetal position. This isn't fair. Why, I was trained by the CIA, like Rachel Maddow and... And, and Anderson Cooper to run game on the slaves, but they're not listening to me. I'm a chicken neck little coward. That's why I joined the CIA, he says. Let's go back to him. A state legislator you probably never heard of until Friday night. It's something of a game changer when Nevada Republican United States Senator starts chiming in. That's right. What uh, Senator Reid may call domestic terrorists, I call patriots. Nevada's Republican Senator Dean Heller believes the Bundy Ranch supporters are patriots. He's talking about the hundreds of militia members and states' rights activists who stood with Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy and against the federal government. Heller says these men and women are patriots. So does the website InfoWars, a paranoid online haven run by Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist whose stories often make their way from his website InfoWars, where on any day you can find headlines about vaccines, mass fluoridation, and the 9-11 cover-up, into the so-called mainstream GOP establishment. Alex Jones was a champion of Clive and Bundy from the very beginning. Because he's saying he'll do whatever he has to uh, to not be, uh, you know, have his grazing rights stolen. Uh, Notice they're pirates. playing cuckoo George bird music. Elevated the story, and it made its way onto Fox News' airwaves. Next thing you know, so-called mainstream Republicans are calling people like this patriots. What uh, Senator Reid may call domestic terrorists, I call patriots. But the Alex Jonesification of the GOP is much bigger than the Bundy Ranch. Take Greg Brannon, Tea Party Republican candidate uh, that's for enough. Senate in North Carolina. Look, look, the whole thing's up on InfoWars.com. We're sick of being pushed around. We're sick of being treated like slaves. We don't want to live in North Korea. We do not want to live in Uganda. I mean, that's what all this looks like. You ran everybody off. Federal Judge Jones ruled last year the BLM's own goal, and this has come out in their memos, is to destroy all the ranchers. They want everyone off the property, and then they've got Rory Reed, whose law firm represents the Chinese company, go on TV and go, I want to be clear, we're not involved with any Chinese company for this land with Bundy for solar farms. No, you want it as an environmental easement listed in the BLM documents. That's why you want to run everybody off Nevada land. So you and your companies can be given it. They were basically given the land that was worth, in a report I saw in AP, 50-something million for 3 million. 
so you and your pig-like family can can own and run everything, you scumbag. As he had a bunch of armed goons come out and point guns at people, and a bunch of Americans that are fed up showed up with guns and said, you want a revolution? Let's get it started right now. Attention gun owners. It's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel body armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts. Perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to UnseenNow.com and take action today. That's UnseenNow.com. F-16s confronted Russian nuke bombers today as U.S. troops begin massing in the region. That's what we're taking your phone calls on right now. Coming up at about 40 after, I'll get into the latest pedophile scandal in Hollywood and then continue with your calls. But I'm going to tie that into the TSA. Right now, we're going to your phone calls. Robert, Woody, Dallas, Diane, and others. 
Uh, Roberts, uh, U.S. Air Force active, wants to comment on the Russia situation, calling in from Tennessee. Uh, what's your take on this, and, and what's the take generally of your colleagues uh, in the armed services, sir? Oh, I'd, I'd rather not speak on the behalf of that, but I will say I've never seen such a complete, utter brainwashing take place in, in my lifetime. It's Every other person I see is, is not capable of profound or abstract thinking, and uh, it, it, it's just frightening to see what's taking place. You know, the, the First Amendment, the right to due process, the right to search and seizure, every U.S. Constitution amendment is being stripped right before our eyes, and I, what is it going to take to wake people up? Well, that's the issue. If we had some wonderful government that was doing good and protecting our rights, and they said Russia was bad, I'd be apt to believe them. But the government just lies on every front. It's illegitimate. And now it's getting ready to start war with Russia. Not a good idea. Uh, and I've got friends that are like, Alex, I like your show, but Putin's bad. And he, he we got to do something about him. And it's like this primitive thing. We got to have a war. We got to have a war. And I guess they think it's going to be like blowing up Iraq or something. that will be something you eat pizza and you know watch on television. That's not... That's not going to be the case if we get into war with Russia. And and we're bankrupt. Go ahead. What's yeah, your take I, on the I, Russia I, situation? Well, it's very profound. Uh, uh, I, I've been in Ukraine and I've traveled there, but to, to the extent uh, I'm not an expert matter to elaborate on that. I will say that uh, eastern Ukraine is very pro-Russia, and then, of, co uh, of course, western Ukraine is the complete contrary. But... Um, I haven't been in the region in about a, a year and a half, so. Well, I, I hear you, and I appreciate your call. Interesting points about folks being brainwashed. Dallas in, in Oklahoma is calling, wants to talk about uh, the armed forces and what's happening in Russia, and he's a vet. Uh, give us your take on that. Well, I, Alex, I just first would like to thank you for your efforts. Uh, we appreciate it here in Oklahoma, and I uh, hope everywhere else. Uh, your voice for us, for the people. And uh, it's, it's people are waking up. I see it around me. I, I see it in my own family. And uh, it gives me great hope for things to come. This thing in Russia that we're speaking about is, uh, was, of course, started by us, like most things are. Uh, back in 1964, I fought for my country back in Vietnam. And, uh, you know, learned a lot of things there and have since. And uh, have followed uh, all the things that have happened, the Oklahoma City bombing, uh, and everything in between and got the facts and not the, uh, the lies. But, uh, I guess the main thing I, I wanted to call about today is to, uh, to, to thank you for, for keep putting this out there for the people, uh, because it's, it's so important. What you do is so important. Uh, and I want to thank you for it. And there are people like me out here who are listening daily and we subscribe to your products and we try to help as we can. We're just simple people, uh, who, who do the best we can and, and, and try to help as we can. But, 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 but the government still knows, I think, that we're out there. And when this, when this, when this thing comes down, we'll be there. Uh, one thing I would like to ask you, Alex, about is that, uh, and I feel it's coming. I'm, I'm afraid. I hope not. And I pray daily uh, because the Lord's the only one who can save this country. But I, uh, I, I would like to know if there's some way that, that you and, and John McAfee, uh, somebody like that, could get some way where when they do cut this thing off to where we can still get a hold of you, uh, where we can still stay in touch with each other. Well, we've talked a lot about alternative communications. I'm on WWCR Global Shortwave. We could do a phone line to them. Um, I've already covered every angle of what the globalists are up to. People should archive on hard drives everything we have. They should have CD burner backups. Uh, if the globalists stage a false flag and shut the Internet off, people don't need to wait. They need to all do print-ups, pointing out that it's a staged event, pointing out that giving up our liberty isn't the answer, and post them like the French resistance everywhere and just resist the enemy, the, the literal collaborator foreign banking cartel takeover. They want us to be distracted by the Russians and people while the globalists have done everything they can to shut this country down. But uh, you're absolutely right. Um, they know we're beating them peacefully politically. And there is a huge awakening happening. They're not going to let that happen. They're going to stage stuff, paint us as the terrorist. That's why I'm very glad that the shooting war didn't start in the Bundy situation. But at the same time, 
we were clearly in the right there. So if it's going to start, let it start somewhere real and not some stage deal like an Oklahoma City part two. God bless you, sir. I appreciate your call. But I don't deserve the credit. We're just fighting for we're freedom. on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN.